Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a natural, natural, and I put the quotes because, um, yeah, a lot of guys keep saying, oh, they prefer a girl with natural looking makeup, and they want to see girls looking more natural. And I'm like, what the hell is natural? It's makeup, it's not going to be natural. I mean, anything else I put on my face is not going to be natural, right? But anyways, anyways, um, I digress. The whole point of this video is we're gonna try to look as natural as possible with tons of makeup on. Well, okay, maybe not tons, but I'll try to keep it very simple and very minimal and very natural. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's jump right in. So I'm going to start off by priming my skin and I'm using the Too Faced Primer and Poreless. This is really good to help with um, with my magnificent pores and I'm going to apply this by literally pressing it onto my skin because if I swipe then it just tends to leave a lot of residue on my skin. So I'm applying it into, my, um, into the areas of my face where the pores are more visible. So my forehead and my cheeks and basically just patting that in. I've already moisturized by the way, so I've moisturized and um, yeah, so I'm just priming that. I'm gonna let the primer sit on my skin and go ahead and do my eyebrows and I usually fill my eyebrows in using Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna take my little brush and just apply that to two of my eyebrows. And I'm gonna do this really sparsely because of course we're going for that natural look. So I'm going to clean up the bottom of my brow using the Ebay Gel Pro Concealer in Toffee. And this is very close to my skin tone, so it's not like that really bright, bright highlight that I'm, I'm used to underneath my brows. So I'm just going to go in and just clean up um, that area. So I was watching this. Um, I was watching this episode of Take Me Out. For those of you in the UK, you probably know what it is. It's a dating game show where a guy comes to the show. There are about thirty girls. So basically, the guy picks a girl, and they end up going on a date after the show. So this guy picks this girl, and they end up going on a date at you know in the future. And then he had the guts to say he didn't really like her because he likes more natural looking girls. <laughs> Granted, her brows were really badly drawn on. Um, they were very looking very strong and she had quite fair hair and she had really dark eyebrows. So I understand that. But at the same time, you picked her up in the first place. There were 30 other girls you could have picked or there were 29 other girls that you could have picked, but you picked her. And then he had the guts to say, oh, he likes more natural looking girls, that, you know, she looks really different on the date. And that just seemed really odd to me. I mean, how, how do you even justify that, you know? So anyways, clearly the, the, the date, the date didn't end up working and, um, yeah, we didn't see each other again, I guess. So we're going to try to make our brows looking as natural as possible. So to clean up the top, I'm going to go in with Beautiful Bronze, also by Ellie Gal. But this one's darker than the one I put underneath my brows. The concealer underneath my brows went a tiny bit lighter. And then the one on the top is, I think, just my skin. Okay, so next up, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And I'm going to use... The, oops. I'm going to use the NARS Illuminous Foundation in Macau. Yeah, in Macau. And this this foundation has really impressed me lately. It gives that really nice satin full coverage. So um, obviously I don't use one pump. I do need more than one pump. Um, they do say to, that one pump can give you a full coverage, but no, definitely not. I do go in with two, sometimes three but you really have to mix it well because it's very liquid. And I'm going to apply the foundation with my fingers. So I'm just uh, gonna go wash my hands and I'll be right back. 
So now that we've got clean hands, I'm just going to take the foundation and just apply, as I said, I'm going to go in with two pumps. So I'm going to take two pumps on, on my finger and just um, basically just dot that on my face like this. At this stage, I, mm, I'm not really satisfied with the coverage, so I'm just going to go in with one more pump and for some reason, this thing looks a lot brighter on the camera. Um, yeah, it looks really light on my skin on the camera, but in real life, it actually looks fine. So I don't know why it looks quite light on the camera. But never mind, by the time we blend it all out with powder and everything else, um, it should be all right. Okay, so next we're going to conceal underneath our eyes and I'm going to use mix these two shades together. I'm going to take a bit of toffee and these were the same concealers we used for our brows. I'm going to take a bit of toffee and mix it in with a tiny bit of beautiful bronze. I'm going to place this underneath my eyes to cover up any darkness or discoloration. And this is a Delium Tools 948 brush. I love using this brush to apply um, concealer just because it's tapered and it just fits right nicely underneath my eyes and also blends really well. Then going in with my translucent powder and my setting brush, I'm going to set the concealer. And I'm not really going to do any baking or cooking or whatever, or roasting. <laughs> I'm just going to tap a bit of this powder just to set that concealer. And I just really love how this powder just melts into the skin. Sorry about that guys, my camera really cut off on me while I was filming. So I've also adjusted the, um, I've also adjusted my camera so I should look a bit different. So the temperature should look a bit different. But anyways, going back to the tutorial. So what I've done is I've just literally just used that powder to set underneath my eyes, my forehead, my chin, around my mouth, basically all the areas that I apply the concealer. Anyway, so we're gonna quickly set our entire face and I'm gonna use the MAC MSF in dark. And I'm gonna take my, Real Techniques blush brush and just set my entire face like so. Okay, so we're gonna quickly move on to the eyes. I'm going to prime using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And I'm just gonna take that all over my lid. And we're not really gonna do much in terms of the eyes. I'm basically just gonna use raw palette to create this look, guys. Again, we're going to try and keep it as natural as possible. Then, I'm going to take my Naked Basics 2 palette. The colours are quite neutral and very cool toned. So, I feel like this is the perfect palette to use um, for this look. So, I'm going to take the shade in there called Star. And I'm going to just use that all over the lid to just set that primer. And I'm using a blending brush from Delium Tools. Okay, so next we're going to create a bit of shadow and I'm going in with this um, shade here and it's called Cover, this one right here and it's called Cover, sorry if I'm like you that mirror. This one right here, I'm going to take this using that same brush, I'm going to try to deepen our crease and I'm just going to take this tiny bit just place that um, as my transition color just to create a bit of depth to the eyes. I'm then going to use a smaller brush, like a more tapered one, and take the darker shade, so not the darkest one, the this one right here, second to the darkest, and this one is in primal. I'm going to take this and just put that right in the crease. We just want to give the eyes some dimension, but I'm going to try and go crazy. Basically. The thing with these shadows is that they're very, very soft. 
and powdery so you always need to keep tapping off this okay guys i just had to fix my hair real quick because my camera was acting up so i just let it charge and i just fixed my hair so i haven't i haven't done anything else so we're going to carry on with the eyes now we're going to apply our barber and highlights and i'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette and it's called skimp this one right here and i'm just going to take that um, as my brow bone highlight i'm going to apply that right underneath my eyebrows and this just gives a really nice subtle highlight Next I'm going to apply some mascara and this is the MAC um, Giga Black Lash Mascara and I'm just going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes. We're not applying any eyeliner or any false lashes today because you guessed right, we want to keep it natural. Next up, I'm going to do some slight bronzing slash contouring. And I'm going to take uh, my Ebony Bronzer by CoverGirl and just apply that to my cheekbones. We just want to give our face some definition. I'm also taking it down my jawline. Just take it down the size of my nose. Okay, we're not really contouring, we're just bronzing and defining. Using that same brush, I'm going to apply my blush. This is Terracotta from La Femme and it's just a really nude peachy colour. I'm going to take that same brush and just place that right on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm going to use my Hourglass um, palette and can you see the shade on my goodness? I love this shade so much. I'm just going to brighten up my under eye a bit and just place this like so, just to brighten up that area. And this just gives a really subtle highlight. Then I'm going to take this shade and just highlight my cheekbones with this. So it's not, it doesn't give that boom highlight, it just, as I said, subtle. It's subtle, but it's there, you can see it there, but it's not like, whoa, there's highlight, it's more like, is that highlight? Is that, yeah, you know what I mean? Anyways, yeah. So, I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, so for the lips, I'm not going to use a liner, I'm not going to use a lipstick, I'm just going to go in with a lip gloss, okay? I'm just going to go in with a NYX Beige, this used to be my favourite lip gloss, I remember um, I got onto it because of Tanya Burr and uh, I love the smell, I love the colour, I'm just going to apply this right on my lips. So guys, this is the finished look. If you're a girl who's dating a guy who doesn't like girls to wear too much makeup or you're seeing a guy for the first time and you really don't want to wear too much makeup but you still want to look good, I think this would be the perfect makeup for that occasion. Um, Valentine's Day is on a Sunday. I will definitely be at home. Um, I'll go to church in the morning and I'll be at home. I, don't, I, I won't be doing anything. I'm married, so I'm no, no, no. But for all you young kids out there who want to enjoy your Valentine's Day and still look good but natural, then I do hope that you've learned something from this tutorial and I do hope that you enjoy it as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!